Hey, what is going on people? And welcome back to the channel. We hope you enjoyed the holiday vlog to Mallorca. Absolute carnage on the way home. As we were talking about it previously about the um, let's hope our flight don't get delayed. It did. Sorry, it didn't get delayed, it got cancelled. Um, it's carnage. Got there, pain. And this lady comes rushing through. Cancelled, cancelled, no explanation. Everyone's kicking off. Um, yeah, I, my first time a plane's been cancelled on me. I didn't know what to do, to be honest. Um, I thought it was quite an easy process. You go to back to EasyJet and they sort it all out for you. However, um, it wasn't the case. People were arguing and I was just observing at the back. I did hear her say you need to go back to check-in, which is all the way back at the beginning. So I said to Lil, right, let's go, let's get moving. So we um, ran there first, got there first in the line, spoke to them and said, look, I thought the procedure was go back to check in. They go, right, here's the next available pl uh, plane for you for today. EasyJet, because this one's been cancelled. No, it wasn't the case. The, the flights they had were either on, well, two days after, on a Saturday or Sunday. Obviously, we we're flying, bear in mind, we we're flying on the Thursday. So, didn't have any flights until Saturday or Sunday. Um, and I was like, whoa, no, 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 we need to go home today. That's what needs to happen. They're like, no, we ain't got no flights. Um, you need to find an alternative airline. And I said, okay, cool, are you lot paying for it then? Or what? They said, no, you have to pay for it out of your own pocket. And then you get compensated within the 28 days. That's if you actually get it though. There's all these like little loopholes uh, through these policies. So you have to be careful with that. So I said that, right, it was already like few boiling at this point. I was like, right, let's find the nearest flight home for today. None, none for that day. It was the next day at two o'clock, British Airways, cost me a thousand pounds. So I was like, let's get that, let's book it, let's book it. Because everyone else was bear in mind booking their flights as well. So I didn't want to lose them flights. Booked them flights, sat down, then started going through like the EC62 form for compensation. Doing all that, looking through the policies, sitting there while other people going through the line, arguing, trying to find the nearest flight. Some people flying to Manchester now, Bristol, Summers, uh, no, sorry, um, Southampton. So I was just sitting there. Queue eventually died down. Everyone's gone their own separate ways, and we're still sitting there sorting things out. So we're just going to stay at the air airport for the night, and then. I see this family go there, start checking in their luggage, she was on the same plane as us. And I was like, whoa, hold on a minute, why are they checking their stuff in? Um, so I went over there to have a little lurk around. I spoke to one of the EasyJet workers, she didn't really have a clue what she was doing. So I saw this nice, lovely lady who was also EasyJet as well. And I said, look, listen, I need to, we need to get home tonight. I don't suppose you've got any flights for tonight. You can fit us onto a, a plane or anything like that because I saw them checking their luggage. They didn't say anything to us because I think they didn't know who I was, so they didn't want me to start kicking off being like, oh yeah, but well you got them flights, what about us, etc. I know they got flights, I know full well they got flights. So I was like, let me try, see if I can get some flights. So I went there and I said, look, please, can you help us? Can you get us flights or anything? Just for me and my wife, we need to get home to our son. There's two flights, uh, sorry, two seats on this flight at um, 11 o'clock in the evening. So we're like, yeah, we'll take it. And the seats were extra leg room as well, which is lovely. So yeah, finally took off. Um, and then now I'm just going through the procedures of trying to get my money back for British Airways to get that thousand pounds back into my account. So that's where we were, stressful. Um, very, very, very stressful. Um, but yeah, home now. And just back with Rylan. Rylan's gone for a nap. And we've got a new dog as well, so I'll show you. I'll show you him later on when I get him out for a little walk. Name's called Ernie, Golden Lab. Uh, but today's just a chill out day and just, yeah, just literally the weather's a bit terrible, but not much to do today. So we just got some um, juicy miles in. Uh, Lil's gone for a food shop. I went out to get some miles. Had riding this morning. Lil took over. Now we're gonna finish off with some push-ups. Get them into the mix. But I will firstly. Oh, nice cold drink.
that's the um that's Ernie. So he's still getting used to the environment. The last handler I had him did say he was uh he just whine. He just whine a lot when you take the other dogs out or he sees you. So prior to me he was in the kennels, like in the garden. A lot of the dogs are in the kennels so they have their own little environment but again like I've said before I can't do that in this place. So he's around us. He get used to it eventually, just like Rex did. Um, cages for him to switch off, take him out when I'm gonna wear him out, go for a run, or um, just walk him in that. Um, I wanna get him used to different environments as well. But I took him out for me. So I took him out with me for some miles. I'd only done two miles with him, just to see what he was like, cause he's still, I wanna build him up for like longer distance. Incorporate him in a lot of stuff. He's a brilliant. Tem he's got a brilliant temperament with everything. With little man Rylan, uh, other dogs, people. Yeah, it's good. I'm looking forward to it. Me and him growing with each other. So yeah, good future ahead. And just, let's just keep going, staying positive as much as we can, and um, get in the mix. <laughs> Alright, let's go walk these dogs. Let's go see what they all like together. We've got 119 miles left before we have to charge. Look, even when I put the ignition in. That's it, good to go. You, I'm always preempting for the car to start up. And if you get us an electric car, you've got those little drive mode there. I'll put it in eco. Automatic as well, which is good. Right, we're here. I was gonna go into the lovely field I normally go over to, but someone started to play. Hey! Where are you going? Where are you off to? Into the main roads. Um, but yeah, that bit there, people are playing cricket, so can't go there now. I'm get my boots on. Oh, good boy. Going for poo straight away. That's what we like to see people. No messing around straight to business. That means wait. He's so used to being in the back here. I mean he normally used to have his crate in there. So he'd rather he'd rather sit there. He's so used to being at the back here. He used to have his crate in there. I have to put it back up again, to be fair. I need to give it a little clean out. You know, right, come here, let's go. Rex is telling him off in there. Right, this is the new addition to the family, Ernie. This way, boys. Come on, Ernie. Good lad. 15 months old, so still a puppy. Hey. Just got back. Whoa, vanilla. Vanilla milk tea. Yummy, yummy, me. Tea, vanilla, we. Take a tea. Um, where is he? Let's get him out. Spider-Man. <laughs> Hola. <clears throat> it's uh, nearly nine o'clock in the evening. It's a Friday weekend off. I'm just having, I was um, about to say it's a weekend off. Just having a little snackies. I'm gonna have bagel and peanut butter, and then hot I'm drink. I'm gonna have waffle. Waffle and hot drink. I hope you don't mind. I'd have, I did use your milk this morning. There's hardly yeah. anything left. Can I have the rest yeah. of it? Yeah. I just don't. Just chill like out this milk. evening. Oh, wow. There's a ball. Oh. 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 
To a nice cafe after and then went into town just come back and chilling out now they got him a little drawing piece so they can draw around can yeah go on like, do a bit of drawing the um mess free color wonder coloring they're like pens that won't go on your skin furniture or fabric but they color on the pen on the paper and like you have just a few colors and they're clear and then you can just draw and they appear on. I thought that was really good for him to learn. Why isn't that one coming up? Oh dear, is it broken? I am just doing Ryland's foods. Um, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry. I think I've left you lot hanging, it's been a couple days now. New routine, minded the Friday. I find a good routine where I wake up at three in the morning now. Three in the morning, head off to my workplace. I've signed up to a new gym over there and I go to gym early in the morning around about four because at six o'clock um, all the workers decide to come in to do their, their workouts. So uh, I get there nice and early, completely empty, do my workout and then I begin works and out the dogs. I've, I also want to say as well I've seen that we've got new subscribers so if you're new here thank you very much for subscribing it's um, just a day in the life us as a family is it's nothing um, pre-planned to make it look to make our content look, to make our content funnier or anything like that it's just going on a day-to-day -day basis as a normal family and that's how it will always be um, and it's something to look back on in the in the future of like memories so tag along um, I hope you enjoy our videos and yeah don't forget to like but I am just sorting out Ryland's food now I finished dog training so I have my test for Ernie it's over two days I've done the first day today I finished earlier I said to Lil do you want me to go pick up uh, Ryland and she was like, yeah, make it easier. So she normally goes picks him up when she finishes work, but I want to pick him up, so I need to do his food now. He's a bit antsy, you can see, so I'm gonna feed him. Um, he's just watching, you can probably hear it, and Miss Rachel in the background. So Miss Rachel, if you're hearing yourself in the background, please do not copyright, yeah? Much appreciated. I also need to clean this house as well. So. Dirty, 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 put a wash on as well. Um, yeah, you have to put a wash on. Jeez, where's his bit? Yeah, I am gonna get on with his routine, get him to sleep, and then I shall catch up with you once I've finished all this, all right? So I'll see you soon.
Okay, so we got him. Just got him down for a nap now, so he's sleeping. Just waiting for Lil to come home. Um, maybe he'll get him some milk, so he can pop to Tesco. Just get him some milk for tomorrow morning. And then I need to, well, I said I'll go out because I need to charge this van. So there's a little charging point in McDonald's. So I'll charge it there. Work did say that, you know, you can install one in at my property. I think they're like because I've got the electric van from from work. Now I live in a flat, so it's, I don't really want to put a charging port into the, the flat because obviously lease holds going through like um, I don't know the agreements or planning permission to put one in. I'm not sure, so I just said now nah, we'll leave it. Um, I go to nearest ones near McDonald's, so I use that one to charge it. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So until we get a house, then I won't get a, like a charging port within the, in our, our building. To be fair, I'm not really a big fan of these electric cars. They're not, they're not that good. Um, it's always, I'm always constantly charging this thing. It gets 157 miles on it. But bear in mind, it's cold weather now, so that zaps the battery a bit. And it's just, if you're driving, 70 miles per hour, just you just see it slowly going down. So it's like puts you on edge a bit. You're like, oh, you go on the map, the app, and you're like, right, well, where's the next charging point? And you look for it. So it's, it's annoying where you can just, I think hybrids, yeah, understandable for our contract, but they want um, to go completely green, which is electric cars, which is fair enough. It gets me there and back. It's just when I'm doing other stuff, that's when it becomes a bit of a noise. But is what it is. So we're just waiting for Lil. Hot drinks. Guys. Excuse the state of me as always. <laughs> this is actually real well nice. Mm. I just picked it up from Audi. Audi. Salted pretzel chocolate bar. Mm. When Kurt's just tried it for the first time, we were like, mmm. It's all good. Anyway, peeps, I'm gonna leave it here for this evening and I shall see you tomorrow morning. All right, so we just got back home. I need to um, feed the dogs. Got in there salmon oil. Alright, so they are done. Now time to prep a thing for tomorrow morning again for a bit of fizz and I'm back to work last day Friday let's go <laughs> So autumn is officially upon us and this is my favourite, favourite goddamn season. So we just finished our food shop, nice come back, shop. yeah, went nice and early and then Mills just doing like a, a bulk meal prep for mining. And he's having this. And then I've got some plums and some pears boiling to help him with his constipation. Over there. Oh, this. These, yeah. Ah. We have also got a nice little, um, we're starting Ooh. our Halloween, well, sorry, not Halloween, we're starting our Harry Potter marathon. So it's saying if you start today, this Saturday, it leads all the way up to what? Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. So every Saturday, we'll watch a um, little Harry Potter um, movie. 